Hello, in this video we're going to cover how to install Microsoft Windows Server 2016. Before we go on to the demonstration, let's talk a little bit about the hardware requirements. You'll notice that these requirements seem fairly low. Again, these are the minimum requirements for a production system. You'll definitely want to consider adding additional resources. However, the basic minimum is a 1.4 GHz processor, either 512 megabytes or 2 gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of storage. Of course, consider having a network card that can support one gigabyte connections. And you might need some other resources such as a DVD drive, if you're installing from an optical media like a DVD, and potentially trusted platform module on your hardware if you're considering doing BitLocker. Let's go ahead and take a look at the demonstration of the install process. Okay, so we got the computer booted and the ISO is mounted and the setup is starting. On this screen you're presented with a language time and currency format as well as the keyboard input method. We're going to take these defaults and click on next. Now we're going to click on the install now button since it's a fresh new clean install. In a few minutes the setup will start. Okay so this ISO presents us with four different options. There's two different versions or editions of Windows Server 2016. They're standard and data center. The first option listed here, if chosen, will install a core version of standard. With this version, there'll be no graphical user interface. The second option, if chosen, will install 2016 standard with a desktop experience, which includes the GUI. The third option will be 2016 data center with no graphical user interface or no GUI. That's the core version. Finally, the fourth option is Data Center with Desktop Experience, which will include the graphical user interface. For this demonstration, we're going to use option number two, Standard with Desktop Experience. So I'll go ahead and click Next. Go ahead and accept the licensing terms and click on Next. Since we're doing a fresh install, choose Custom, Install Windows Only. Next, you're presented with the storage. Go ahead and accept and hit Next. Now the files will start copying from the ISO image into the virtual drive. This process should take several minutes to complete. The installation files have been copied over. We're about to go ahead and reboot this, wrap up this first phase. As you can see, there are several reboots during this process. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and assign a password to the local administrator account. We're going to hit finish. This is going to finalize our settings and allow us to sign into the system. Next, a profile is going to be created for you. Once we get to the desktop, Server Manager will launch automatically. We can use Server Manager instead of Control Panel to finish up the configuration of the server. To finalize the basic configuration, on the left navigation, click on Local Server. From here, you'll see some options such as changing the computer name, potentially joining a domain, modifying the settings on the Windows Firewall, uh, some remote management and remote desktop settings, as well as assigning a static IP to the server. Once you've completed those steps, you've completed the basic installation of a Windows Server. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. Please support us by taking a moment to like, subscribe, and comment below. Again, thanks for watching.